do you do when you have too much baking soda? So if you ever find yourself with copious amounts of baking soda lying around, here are some fun things that you can do with it. My name is Justin Higgins with Science with Higgins, and this is my buddy, Seth Bryant. What you need to do this is a bunch of vinegar, vinegar, and some baking soda. Mm. So like all good science, the first thing you got to do is be careful because we're adults. Yeah. So what we're going to do first is you just mix a bunch of it together to see what happens. Right. So of course, you just got to add the vinegar, add a bunch of it, add a bunch of it into your bowl. Here at Science with Higgins, we're not very good at measuring, so we just keep pouring. Until we got a copious amount, and that's enough vinegar. And then we take our box of baking soda, rip off the top, and pour some of that in the vinegar. Now, what else can we do with baking soda and vinegar? Oh no, Seth has discovered fire. <gasps> what has he got to do? Put a little bit of vinegar in a big cup, two or three inches. Check out our awesome measurement skills and just a little bit of baking soda. You don't want it to put too much in, otherwise it'll overflow. Keep going until you see a little bit of the fuzz coming up with a little bit of the edge. Oh, the fuzz is chasing you. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when the fuzz chase you? Give it a moment. And now Seth can pour pure carbon dioxide out on those candles and put them right out. Ta-da! Seth has a balloon, but he doesn't know how to fill it up with air. Let's see if science can help him. Make sure that you have a balloon that you can stretch out the tip rather wide so that you can put more stuff in your balloon. Take a funnel and insert it well into your balloon and put baking soda in your balloon. You might make a little bit of a mess, a little bit of white powder all over the place. Next, you're gonna fill up a two liter about one third full with your acetic acid, your vinegar. Attach your baking soda balloon to the top of the two liter and make sure that it is fully stretched on there. And then turn the balloon over. Hooray! Seth's balloon is full! And if you have a larger container, we cut the top off a two liter bottle, and you pour a heck of a lot of acetic acid, aka vinegar, in that bottle, and then just dump a bunch of sodium bicarbonate, aka baking soda, in there, you get an incredible reaction! We added a little bit of food coloring just to make it a little bit no more noticeable, and it just goes... <laughs> The, the science, science behind, behind it. it. The scientific name for baking soda is sodium bicarbonate. Now, just kind of look at all the letters that are in the name sodium bicarbonate, because that's the chemical equation for it. That is one side of the reaction occurring. The other reactant is the vinegar or the acetic acid. When they touch each other, they leave behind in their reaction. They leave behind sodium ions that just kind of hang out in the water molecules. And acetic ions, acetate ions, 
because they're not bound to anything right now, so they're not acetic yet. So those acetate ions just kind of float around in this like soup of water ions. And then it produces some more water and the carbon dioxide. That's what we see, which is why the candles went out. The carbon dioxide, which is heavier than air, sank and displaced the oxygen, causing the candles to snuff out. So this is a great example of a chemical reaction that produces something useful, carbon dioxide, that you can see happen. Thank you for watching. This has been a science at home video for Science with Higgins. If you would like to download worksheets that are related to this video or how to do this video as a lab, please visit sciencewithhiggins.com. Thank you again to the Bryant family for letting me film at your house. And remember, for everybody out there, science is in everything.